It didn't take long for German Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier to react to Donald Trump's America First rhetoric. Steinmeier said, The world's security architecture has changed, and it is no longer based on two pillars alone. It cannot be conducted unilaterally. No American president can get round this change in the international security architecture. Steinmeier a Bilderberg attendee is referring to the New World Order rollout of the United Nations infestation of the United States local police force with its strong cities network, announced by the U.S. Constitution circumventing Attorney General's office to the United Nations in 2015, no less. Furthermore, is it any wonder why the strong cities network recognizes constitutionalists as their number one threat? And just what kind of force is behind Lynch's words? The UN houses the permanent delegations of the Sharia Law Enforcing Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The OIC, as it's known, is overseeing the cancerous expansion of Sharia law with the assistance of the United Nations, the EU, and the federal government of the United States, utilizing waves of immigrants to force European and American cities to submit to the eventual One World Order. The OIC is based in Astana, the capital city of Kazakhstan. Astana is a planned 21st century New World Order city by all accounts, meaning its array of one world government promoting structures were built with the Kazakhstan's petrodollars to act as the headquarters for the emerging New World Order takeover. Kazakhstan is led by Nursultan Nazarbayev, by all accounts a human rights violating dictator that has ruled over Kazakhstan for nearly 26 years. Under Nazarbayev, as CBS reported in 2011, Severe limits on political freedoms and freedom of speech, detainee and prisoner abuse, arbitrary arrest and detention, particularly of government opponents, lack of an independent judiciary, pervasive corruption, discrimination and violence against women, and trafficking in persons are typical of Nazarbayev's rule. A recent New York Times story claims Nazarbayev's regime has been paying Washington, D.C. think tanks to issue glowing reports on the country that largely ignore its glaring shortcomings in political freedom and human rights, and that the Nazarbayev regime has even been alleged to have made illegal payments to as yet undetermined members of Congress seeking to gain their favor. Basically, a 21st century occultic hub run by a New World Order dictator with his hands in the pockets of your elected leaders is the epicenter of the Islamic Sharia movement exploding in Europe and quietly invading the United States. Should Sharia law be over the U.S. Constitution? Yes. But the U.S. Constitution, which is made by people, mm. and the Sharia law is made by Allah. So that is all the way above. That has to be definitely in the land, not for the America, for the whole world, would be above. The so Sharia that law. should be above the U.S. Definitely. Constitution? Yes. This isn't a drill. The engineered collapse of civilization is well underway. Billions of dollars and decades of planning have been invested in the very international security architecture. Donald Trump and patriotic Americans must actively dismantle. John Bound for Infowars.com. We will no longer surrender this country or its people to the false song of globalism.